Peggy 3. Today we'll look at how kicking your new career off has changed in Football Manager 2013. We've tried to streamline the process this year to help you play the game the way you want to play it with a series of meetings in advance of you getting started. Once you've chosen your team, you'll be met by several news items welcoming you to the club. As soon as you step through the door, you'll be met by a message from the chairman advising you on the philosophies that the board expect you to adopt while trying to achieve their expectations. You'll then be invited to meet the board. They'll give you some background to your new club and set out clearly what they want you to achieve and how much budget they're willing to offer you to achieve it. Once you face the board, you then meet your assistant manager. In this meeting, you prepare for the season ahead by arranging intra-squad friendlies and requesting player reports. This really helps you get to know your team inside out and you can also decide how frequently you meet up with your coaches to get their feedback on how the team and players are doing. If you rely on your coach's expert knowledge, you may want to make this a weekly meeting, or if you'd prefer to be fully hands-on, you could limit these meetings to every three months. Your assistant will also give you the opportunity to discuss various aspects of the team's management that they can aid you with, including the management of the reserves, press conferences and friendlies. Next up is your scouting team who advise you on areas of weaknesses within the squad and suggest players who could strengthen these areas. You can then also set new assignments to get your scouts scouring the world for the next big star. In addition to this, you can stay completely up to date with everything going on around you by subscribing to various bits of news. Your personal assistant will recommend which subscriptions would be the most suitable for you and you can then add or remove items from this list and once confirmed, you'll receive regular updates in your inbox. This is very useful if you want to keep tabs on the league around you or on which players are performing well in leagues across Europe or the rest of the world. Finally, the board may allow you to increase your budget for the season, but any increase in funds will come with a suitable rise in expectations. I warn you now, if you change your expectations from mid-table finish to title winners in order to receive more transfer money and you fail, well, the board won't be very happy at all. When you return to your inbox, you'll then find all the reports you requested from your new staff waiting for you and, depending on the conversation with the board, a press conference will have been arranged. You can decline to meet the press, but I don't think you want to get on the wrong side of the media on your first day. Hopefully, this gives you all the information you need to be prepared for the season ahead and get your season off to a flyer.